and there was LED LED lamp which um, more or less fallen apart initially um, one segment is not going, the top segment is not going all these segments had come out, they had fallen out more or less this thing is about 4 or 5 years old but I noticed, but careful assessment one of these LEDs here had popped the old chip has popped out of the thing so I'm gonna solder another LED in there just to get the string back going um, these are string series parallel arrangements it's got a simple capacitive dropper inside and we'll also get a bit better light in here got a capacity of dropper and there it is glued on the inside and if you look at the wiring um, you see some connectors have three wires some have two so it's just like a couple of segments so if one LED fails you don't lose the whole lamp the lamp has just limited capacita, uh, capacity and I'll see if I can fix it I'm gonna put an orange LED in there just for the sake of uh, entertainment purposes I've been probing around a bit and I managed to get them half dim so I've shorted out a couple of chips here which have gone faulty by the look of it so um, yeah it's awkward these things but it's for me the challenge to get this bloody thing fully working well I've been probing a bit further and where the white alligator clip is there's the other faulty LED so if I um, put a clip on here if I take that off or loosen it so I just want to measure the current and maybe put an extra dropper in there but I got all the segments going again which is cool made some progress I got these LEDs pretty hard I just did a reading before 34 milliampere 33 34 milliampere so that needs to be reduced on this string it's a bit of a botch job but um, I put a 390 ohm resistor in series and got the current down to about 26 milliampere couple of cells are out but um, yeah I'll put back in service and we'll see how long it's gonna last for but uh, I find that there's a lot of these things that overdrive the LEDs too hard especially in the domestic type lamp market yeah that's going again well I got the modified light bulb back on here and a couple of chips not working but um, reduced the count a little bit still getting pretty warm these lights you can see why they fail I'll see how it sooner or later we get out of the device. Now about a week later and the lamp has been on probably about 50 to 60 hours and it's still running fine so I think the repair is successful. I'm quite happy about that. It doesn't have to be perfect but it does the job. So the current was reduced to about uh, 26 million pairs of extra dropper so keep it posted if it fails. Cheers.